I want to take this opportunity to bless every soul who partook in the achievement of this project. It has not been easy, but without you, uh, we wouldn't have come this far. I want to bless our daddy in the Lord and our mommy, Pastor and Mrs. Crunchy, the executive producers of this movie, the minister's wife. Again, to my wife, also for mommy, Pamela Crunchy, Opokwanchi, for your tremendous support in writing and also editing of the script. God bless you so much. Our sister, Philippa Crunchy, she has been a supportive system to this project, being the assistant director, continuity, and playing many roles for the success of this movie. Our DOP, Brother Godwin Amankwa, Sound, the King Derek, Emmy Samensa, Light, Brother Christopher Mensa, Costume, Sister Elizabeth Ade, and all the cast. God bless them so much. We want to bless our own brother and sister, Brother Samuel Ofori and Sister Joycelyn Ofori. God bless them so much. I'm talking about some full metal works. God bless them so much for opening their doors, their homes for us to shoot this special movie to expand the kingdom of God. God bless them. And God bless you too for watching or praying for us. God bless the Church Heaven Seekers Ministry, all the pastors for your prayers for the drama ministry. Watch this movie. Share with your church, your pastor, especially your pastor's wife. May the Lord keep you and be with you. My name is Pastor Albert Andrew Poku, the writer, the director of this movie, The Minister's Wife. Till we meet again, Shalom.
pastor or pastor's wife in my family. Mm. So I wanted to be the one to break that chain. Okay. Indeed, I have dreamt several times about it. I have received visions, mm -hmm. revelations, mm -hmm. honey, even prophecies hey. concerning this assignment that we've been given. Really? And lo and behold, lo and behold, honey, Jehovah God has done it. Hey! Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. even know what to say. We thank God. You know? I have not slept the whole of the night. Really? I've just been getting calls from here and there. Hey. Family members, friends and loved ones, work colleagues, even church members. Honey. Really? Even church members. Hey, so for my me. Ah, my dear. <laughs> God bless you for honoring me. Eh? Hey, me. Mm. Honey. Mm. Please, we need to thank God for this calling. But please don't allow the joy of this calling to override you. Because this work is more burdensome than feasting. Please. Oh, honey, mm -hmm. save your breath. Okay. All I wanted to be called was a pastor's wife. Hey. That is my pride. Especially the name tag of being called Mama. Oh, mommy, I just love it. Hey, Jane, <laughs> honey, that shouldn't be your focus or your aim, oh. But the souls, the souls that God has placed in our hands. Okay, I only pray that this joy that is full in your heart will serve as a catalyst that will speed up the reaction of the work of God so that you will become a very strong role model for the women in the church and the world at large. Amen. Mm -hmm. Honey, mm -hmm. by the grace of God, eh, mm -hmm. I will change the pattern eh, of livelihood of all the women in the church. You just wait and see. You see, <laughs> we thank God for that. Hey. But we need to mm. allow the steering of the Holy Spirit to lead us, the guidance and rules and regulations of the church, and the instructions of the leadership. We need not to be so sure of ourselves. Huh? We have to rely on the Spirit of God to lead us, please. Honey, uh, show those sermons. Eh? I am a born minister's wife. Eh? Uh -huh. hmm. You see, this job, it did my body inside. Hey, like Jeremiah, I was ordained in my mother's womb before I was born. Hmm. Trust me. Huh. Okay. Well, <laughs> we thank God. But I need to be heading out. I'll be back before noon. Okay. Okay. Hey, my pastor, pastor. Pastor one. Ah, I mean, ah, lest I forget. There were a lot of clothes on the bed, so you have to pack all of them back into the wardrobe. Oh, sweetheart. But you should have asked me before. I spent time after midnight bringing all those clothes out. Why? You mean you were up all night because of this? For what reason? Sweetheart, as a pastor's wife, I can't be seen wearing the same clothes over and over again. At least, I have to change them a bit. So I just ask the seamstress to come for them. Oh, 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 Jay. So that is the reason why you told me you were tired when I woke you up for morning prayers. Ah, Jay. Jay. All these things can wait. You don't have to waste unnecessary time for all these things, Jay. You need to be serious with spiritual things. Please. I have heard you, honey. But at least, you should have asked me first or consulted me. Alright, I'm sorry. I didn't know the reason. I have to be going before I stuck into huge traffic. Okay. The Lord is with you. Eh, uh -huh. My dear, please, don't forget to buy yourself a new suit and coat for check service this Sunday. I mean, an anointed minister of God cannot wear that five-button coat of yours. You can't take it to church again. You can't. So that people will be laughing at me. I hear, I hear. Ah, I must be checking your clothes from now on. So the prime must sweet. And then, no, no. 
good fine but I'm good to be a good good star. No, 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 Ebenezer, this is how far you have brought us in your church. Hmm. Amen, oh, amen. You know, my dear, hmm. indeed, God has a plan for every child of his. Hmm. Hmm. All that person needs to do is to just walk in it to see the full execution of that plan. When we refuse to do right, we provoke God in our dealings. But um, I thank God that He gave me the ability to be able to do His will hmm. by calling Pastor Stephen into this ministry. Uh, despite the downrating of some members, the Lord has been operating him. Hmm. That is very true, dear. That is very true. And you know, those who do the will of God shall never ever be put to shame. Mm. Hmm. Look at all the trials that the church has been through. Mm. But by God's grace, we have travelled. Mm. Oh, Erade, Monio. Oh, Papa, Monio. Hmm. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Oh, you see, my, myself, I, I thank God so much for, for choosing me to be a part of this beautiful ministry of His. You know, my background was uh, West, but the Lord has made me worthy. Oh, please, 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 spare me that <sighs> point of correction. He didn't select you alone, he selected us. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, you, you are right, you are right. You know, you are more than a better half. Hey, did he just realize that? Say that uh, <laughs> well, um, but on a more serious note, mm -hmm. I've been thinking, hmm, you know, there are three main things everyone needs to desire and choose right in life. Hmm. Hmm. Number one, it behoves on every human being to desire to know his God, his maker. I mean, God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth and everything within it, including us human beings. That person must desire to serve and serve him better. Mm. Hmm. Number two, you know that God has a ministry for everybody, every single human being on earth. And we all need to desire to know that ministry the Lord has given us and work at it. Hmm. Some have been called to be uh, medical doctors others farmers, some traders, even um, some have been called to be presidents and ministers. And there uh, are some people, when you meet them right from the word go, you know that these people were naturally born to be shepherds in the sheepfold of Christ. But every single ministry in our hands must be used to glorify God. Hmm. And um, lastly, the most important of all, is choosing a life partner. Hmm. Oh, that is where many Christians lose it. When it comes to choosing a life partner, one must be very diligent in prayer hmm. and fasting before God to do the right partner. But many people choose to go with their own knowledge and the things they see. Hmm. But my dear, you, you know the most dangerous aspect of it. <laughs> when you get the latter wrong, I mean, when you get the wrong partner, mm. hmm, trust me, the former will be nothing to write home about. Mm. I mean, you cannot see God mm -hmm. and you may never have your ministry. Mm. But uh, I thank God that um, everything points to the fact that you are the perfect mate, <laughs> my maker made for me. Hey, oh no no stop flattering me stop flattering me <laughs> but then you know 
I thank God I didn't reject you actually, uh-huh. although you, you had nothing to your name, but then you had God in your ministry. Mm. So we have mm. everything. Mm. Daddy, let me quickly check who you said the bed. Okay, please. Mm. Mm. Oh God. Mm. So faithful. Wow! <laughs> What a pleasant surprise! Oh, please, you can come in. Wow. <laughs> Pastor Steven and Mrs. J. Ah, you are welcome. Uh, please uh, make yourself comfortable. Ah. Mm. Please, let me get you some water. Eh? Thank you. Ah. Please, you're warmly welcome again. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, feel free, eh? make yourself comfortable. The, uh, this place is your home. Yes, please. Uh, you don't have any problem. Uh, please, uh, how are you doing? Pastor, by God's grace, we are doing well. Mm. We are all very well. Mm. Pastor, I hope you are fine too. Oh, by the grace of God. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I, I think we can pray now. Ouch. Please, let me quickly get something to cover oh, my hair, please. Oh, mommy, this is just a small prayer. Uh, covering your head is nothing. My dear, you know, there is nothing like a small prayer for a Christian. Mm. Everything before God is something. Just as John Wesley rightly said, compromise is the seed of modernism in Christianity. Yes. You know something? I'll be back. Mm. Okay, that is true, Mom. You see, Mommy is right. Mm. She really needs to do that. Because that same God who is interested in our prayer is also very interested in our obedience. Mm. Oh, please, we can pray now. Okay. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful gathering. Your word says in Psalm 133 verse 1, that let us see how beautiful it is, that brethren will dwell together in unity. Father, we commit this gathering into your hands. We humbly ask that you take precedence over everything that we are going to say. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Oh, what's that, Stephen? And uh, Mrs. J, once again, you are warmly welcome. Thank, Thank you, Daddy. Um, um, please, uh, to what do we owe this uh, pleasant surprise visit? Mm. Daddy and Mommy, there's no problem at all. Uh, My wife and I decided to pay you a visit today to show our gratitude for what God through you did for us. In fact, it came as a surprise. It was shocking to us because I never thought I was worthy to serve under the altar of the Lord. Mm. God bless you so much. In fact, I have been seeing my husband in visions, leading a great and large congregation. At times, I see him cleaning and feeding flock but we didn't know how this was going to happen. When my husband informed me about your decision to ordain us as ministers, I was so overwhelmed. Daddy, God bless you. Mm. Mommy, God bless you so, so much. You know, uh, I, I do not choose anybody or even you. I didn't choose you to be a minister in this ministry out of my own senses. But I, I always depend on the leadings of the Holy Spirit before I make such a move. And besides, I thank God for your commitment and zeal for the work of God. God bless you too. Amen. My son in the Lord. Yes, ma'am. You know, I love the love that you have for the work of God. Mm. Yes, but then let me throw out this short advice to you. As a minister, you have become the material and the tool that the people will reach out for whenever they are in need. Just as the popular hymn goes, 
spend and be spent. Mm. But then you need to be extra careful. Be very watchful. I mean, mm. discern into everything as much as possible. The Lord is expecting us as ministers to be humble, mm. to be prayerful. Don't joke with your prayers. And lastly, you, you need to be studious of the word of God. Mm. You know, my husband always says something. He says that as ministers, as leaders, we always need to ensure that we are respectful and grateful to all the members, whether being rich or poor. Pastor Stephen, uh, just to add a few words to what mommy has said. You know, in, in ministry, there are a lot of things. Accusations, persecutions, trials, temptations, name them. A lot of hard things. But please do not focus on the pain. In whatever you go through in your ministry, please do want to start for the Lord. You know, Apostle Paul told us in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, I believe. Yes, dear that all those who would want to live godly lives in this present evil world mm. shall surely suffer persecution. But Apostle Peter also throws in a caution that we all need to be careful about. And that is, if we are going to suffer, it shouldn't be because of our sin. Mm. Very true, dear. And also, please, beware of men and money mm. and if only you do this then god will take you far Amen. my son you need to always focus on christ and his word you do not look to the left nor to the right and please be heavily minded in everything mm. mommy and daddy god bless you so much in fact our hearts are full of joy for these words of advice that you've given us. And I believe that when you put them into action, God is going to bless us and we are going to go far in this ministry. We are grateful to you. Thank you so much. God bless you, Daddy. God Amen, bless you, Daddy. Mommy. God bless you Amen. so, so much. And please, lest I forget, my daughter Jane, please. Be a great and a good supportive system unto your husband. Mm. You know, this ministry that we find ourselves in, it's not easy at all. Just as a wise woman builds up her home, as the Bible says, so does a wise minister's wife also help in the building of the church. My son, you know, uh, my dear wife, mommy here, it's been a great asset for me. I mean, my personal life and this ministry of God. You see, please be very careful to take every advice your wife gives you in the Lord. Because here hmm. the prophetesses the Lord has ordained to help and support our ministry. Okay, mommy and daddy, please, all that you've told us, you try as much as possible to do them. The Lord being our helper. We surely do that. And please uh, don't hesitate to call on us whenever you people need our help. Nadi, we will do that. God bless you. Amen. God continue to increase you in wisdom. Amen. May you never lack oil. Amen. Father, God should take you places. Amen. We are grateful to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank God. Daddy, you have to take our leave so that you can have time for other things. Oh. Uh, no problem. Um, uh, I believe you will meet tomorrow, God willing, at church. Yes, sir. Uh, shall we pray? Yes. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful gathering. We thank you so much for this healthy discussion we've had with our brother. Hey, Krista, hmm. you shouldn't have worried yourself to come. Jane, hmm? I heard of your resignation, so I intended to come and find out what the problem is. Oh, my dear, 
<laughs> There's really no problem. You see, I didn't know how to manage myself with the nature of my husband's current work. So I felt that it would be better I resign in order to help him. That's all. See, you ma pay him pa na wukune nya. Ama we jai we juma ihoi. Eh? E juma pa pa pa. Asofu juma. He's been called to declare you. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. So it means you are now a minister's wife. Yes, so my sister. Also for my hey. Congratulations, my sister. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Oh. Mm. Yes. I am happy for you. Wow. It's a great privilege to be chosen by the Lord among the few to serve on his altar. Hmm. I know it's not going to be easy. But my dear, the Lord will see you through. Amen, my sister. Hmm. Thanks so much for rooting for me. Thanks so much. Welcome. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. But you see, apart from the magnitude of the work, it comes with spiritual and physical blessings. Hmm. Many have received a lot through ministry. Hmm. Really? Are you sure? If only you play your cards well. Hmm. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Jane, uh -huh. you need to consider the kind of messages you preach and be at the side of the rich. Hmm. Yeah. I still don't get it all. Jane, if you want to be happy or suffer, it all depends on you. So person with this sika. Now won't you here? Baba, nini na age now so. Hmm. Dear, the Lord is our strength. Hmm. Amen. Amen. But be careful of uh, those young ladies hmm. going close to your husband, eh? Especially They'll be throwing themselves at him, seeing how exuberant he is. Hmm. My dear, our God is in charge. Save your breath. Eh? Uh, this will be fine. My dear, my dear, my dear, you don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a sad topic. No? Let's talk about something else. Something, something much more interesting. Something like what? Eh? I'm going to do my own How is everybody at work? Mm. Eh? Solomon. Oh. Mr. Gilbert. Yeah, hey, oh, patience. Mm. And the rest of them. Wow. How are they doing? Hey. Mm. Yeah, oh, well. <laughs> um, although I didn't inform them of this visit, mm. but I'm yet to go and give them this. Big news that our own Jane is now also for mommy. Oh, please spare me that. <laughs> spare me that, my friend. Spare me that, please. Ah, I beg. Don't carry me there. Don't carry me there. Not yet. I'm not ready for that. Jane, but remember us in prayers. I will, my sister. Thanks so much for your You're visit. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Um, well, I think it's time for me to leave. Oh, so soon. I need to pass by the groceries to get some items for the house. Yeah, my few of you so. Oh. Mm. Eh? We'll miss you Especially so, you. You. Oh, you. Ha. Don't worry. Mm. I'll pay you a visit at church some other time. Mm. And see my Osofu mommy in this <laughs> play. Oh. Really? <laughs> I'll be so happy. I'll be glad to see you. Oh, I'll hold you to that. Okay. Make sure you come, eh? Make you sure you do. On me. Jane, regards to your husband. I'll tell him. I'll All tell right. him for sure. Okay. But wait, let me see you off at All least. Alright. Eh? Oh, Krista, Krista.
Please forgive me. It's fine. for you for the past 20 minutes. Where were you? Please forgive me. It wasn't my fault. MD or MD. You know how he is. Immediately I decided to come out. He came in with some files he wanted me to work on. So I decided to finish with them before I proceed for lunch. I'm sorry. I see workaholic. I think uh, <laughs> Oh wow, thanks yes. for the order. Oh, Let's enjoy it, please. Mm -hmm. But seriously, the exit of Jane has brought a lot of pressure on us. Mm. That is very true. But what compelled her to tender in her resignation? Or did she have a better offer somewhere else? Least I forget, I went to pay her a visit yesterday right after work. Oh, okay. So how is she doing? Um, she's doing very well. Then what made her resign? Mm -hmm. She said she did that for a husband. I don't understand. So you mean she resigned to be a housewife or what? She said her husband has been called to be a pastor. So she had to, you know, leave this work and join him on his field. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. But that is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, mm -hmm. I think if the husband wants to be a full-time minister, she could still work to support him. After all, the Lord called the man and not her. So why should she just throw her career out of the window like that just because her husband has become mm -hmm. a full-time pastor? Um... That is your own exposition. To her, that is the best option. To have time for her family and the ministry. Mm -hmm. Wait, so you're saying that the Jane I know is now a soft mommy, mm -hmm. a pastor's wife? A simple bad Patience, what is the meaning of all that? Huh? Or are you not happy for her? For what reason? The Jane I know will let the Church of God to suffer if she doesn't change. Patience. What is the meaning of that? Huh? Mm -hmm. <coughs> if she sends this same attitude that she has been showing in this office to the ministry field, then the Church, the members and her husband will be in hot waters. She will just bring shame to the body of Christ. What attitude are you talking of? Hmm? But don't you know how Jane is? Money conscious, quick tempered, her insecurities around her husband. Sometimes I even doubt if she's a Christian or to talk of being a pastor's wife. <laughs> Patience. Please, 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 please. Ah, how different are you from her? Tell me, how different are you? For me, I believe that Jane itself will mold or sharpen her. Well, she really needs that molding and sharpening. Hmm. If not, we will hear and see things for ourselves. Hmm. Well, I wish her the best anyway. Now you are talking. Hmm. This is all what she needs. She needs her prayers and wishes. Hmm. Hmm. We only have three minutes left. Oh. Let's hurry up before yes. MD comes in to yell at us. Seven. Yes, Daddy. I must say I'm very impressed. Uh, your report is very brief and concise. God bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Mm. Uh, but um, please, I've noted uh, and underlined a few points that needs to be changed. And uh, please do what to effect the changes immediately before the final day of submission. 
Okay, sir. Thank you. I'll do it very fast and bring it back to you for the final approval. Please, just waste me time to do it, okay? Thank you, sir. And please, I want to take my leave. Oh, <laughs> so soon. Yes, sir. <sighs> okay, the Lord be with you. Amen. Thank you. Oh, dear Pastor Stephen has left. He didn't want to take in anything at all. Please uh, sit down. How oh, you know him? Oh, he's always trying to escape office whenever he comes around to work. Oh, 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 Pastor <laughs> Stephen, this is too sad, eh? I know he's tired too. Don't worry, dear. You can mm. do that for him another time. Okay. Mm. But, dear, how was the report? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, the report was yeah. fine. Mm. Very good. I was very impressed. And um, we are seeing a great transformation in the church. Oh, we thank God. We really, really thank God. Dear, I even wanted to bring this to your notice. Have you realized that the inclusion of the likes of Pastor Stephen and all the other ministers who were, you know, brought into ministry this year have brought a great revival in the church of God? Mm. Hmm. That's true. That's true. That's true. In fact, um, there's been a tremendous increase in our membership and even church service. And Sunday service was very powerful. Mm. In fact, I have never regretted obeying the Lord in anointing and ordaining uh, Brother Stephen to be a minister in this church. In fact, he has been very useful and fruitful. Hmm, that is very, very true. He has been very useful and fruitful. Hmm. But I just pray for him. I just pray for him that he doesn't get carried away by pride or any other thing because of this wonderful movement of God upon his life. I hope it ends well with him. Amen. Um, let us continue to pray for him and even all the others as well as we have been doing. And uh, I know that if we continue to pray for them, the Lord will surely see them through. Amen, oh, amen. Because most of them, they start well like this, but then later they are nowhere to be found in the church of God. Most of them get carried away by the giftings of God instead of them to be carried by the God of the gifts. Ah. Hmm. But just as you said, all we can do is to just continue to pray for them. That is all. Hmm. That's all we can do. Uh, by the way, uh, the last time he told me that um, his wife has now decided to resign her work and then uh, join him in full-time ministry. Oh, praise God, mm. praise God, mm. praise God, praise God. Ha! Ah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, dear, I have been secretly praying for that, mm. that his wife will join him in full-time ministry so that their ministry will be fruitful. You are not far from right. <laughs> you know, uh, many pastors' wives do not know how important it is for them to join their husbands in mm. full-time ministry. Hmm. Very true, dear. Very true. <sighs> Jane. Jane, dear. Please wake up. I'm back home. Oh, honey. Um, You're back. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Hmm. How'd you get up? Why? Hmm. Yeah. We couldn't start the service early. And because of that, we couldn't close early as the organizers proposed. Besides, the pastors who came by their own cars were not going my destination. So I had to wait for public transport. Oh, so sorry for that. Sorry, eh? It's okay. I had to pass by Pastor Morris's house to give a parcel to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it? Hmm. You know, after the administration, they wanted to give me a parcel. 
though I didn't want to take it. But they insisted and said it was not for the administration, but to support the ministry. So I took it back to Pastor Amore, since he's the one who sent me there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So, did he take it from you? <laughs> Why not? Because I, it was not meant for me. So he took it. Well done, sir. Thank you. Anyway, let me warm your food for you so that you can break your fast. Do that. You've Thank not you. eaten since because morning. I'm huh? very hungry. Please dry and go and freshen up. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, I go and say that to you. Dear. Dear. Dear, what is it? Can we talk? Please. I'm tired and I need to wake up early to go for the morning service. Huh? It is it that I cannot wait till morning. I understand. But please, in all humility, we need to do this now. So please wake up. Eh? It is necessary we do it now. Please. What is it that can wait till morning? Huh? What is it? My husband. What have we gotten ourselves into? Eh? Jim, what is the meaning of that? The something happened in my absence. Nothing happened, my husband. But you see, our lives were so much better before getting into this ministry. Don't you think that our head pastor is using us for his personal gains? What? Say, you again? Please, not again. Ah. Honey, I have endured him all this time. I don't think I can continue to do so anymore. No. Please excuse me. I need to use the washroom. I'm talking to you. Can you please do me a great favor by not bringing up talking about this issue again so that the enemy will not step in? Let's allow the Lord to lead us as he has been doing with us. Please, Jay. My husband, open your eyes. Eh? See when he can cry. Can't you see that your boss is using you? How? Eh? You have automatically been turned into an errand boy. Ah, look, look at this. He's always calling you, sending you here and there. As if you are his son. Listen, he has two cars of his own. And he is comfortably living in a fully furnished five Five bedroom, five oh, five bedroom apartment. Yet look at us. We are still struggling with the church members for Trotro. And look at where we are living. Ha! Huh. Jane, will you shut up and go to bed? Now listen, as far as I'm concerned, we never had this conversation and I don't you ever want to bring this issue again up again. Good night. We shall see. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. Hmm. 
My wife. Um, so what has gotten over you? What do you mean by that? But we were living like this before we got into full-time ministry by the grace of God. And so I don't understand why you are complaining now. So I shouldn't complain. Perhaps I don't have to voice anything when things go bad. Hmm? No, 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 I've not said that. But you see, we have to be grateful to God for what he has been doing for us through Pastor and his wife. Look at the allowances that we have been receiving. How many pastors receive such allowance? Please spare me that. <laughs> if you think that what we are earning is enough, then my dear, you and I will live as poor people. And not only that, we will die as such. Look at what they are earning for doing nothing, nothing all. And you and I, who do all the groundwork, look at what we earn. In fact, if nothing is done to change this, I will change things. What? Jane, please don't forget that our assignment is to prepare the souls for the day of reckoning, but not to pursue worldly things. That is our main assignment. Don't forget that, please. Eh. Hey. Yes. Then you and I can go our separate ways from now onwards. You can pursue your ministry of preparing the souls, whilst I also pursue worldly things for the preparation of the souls. Besides, how do we prepare the souls without money? Abby? I, I mean, do, do, we need money. Don't we need money to prepare the souls? When you know very well that money answered all things. And don't forget, my son is now in level 200 in the university. And how do you expect us to take care of him when things are going this way? Eh? Look at me. I can't even afford to buy nice things for myself as other ministers' wives do. Ah, Timinya Mabo. Ah. Please, Jane. Why are you worrying about all these things? Eh? The Lord who has called us into this ministry would surely take care of us. Besides, we are only a year into ministry and we don't expect things to be so rosy just like that. Hey. <gasps> so when do you expect us to live the rosy life? Is it when we are retired? Or when we are dead and gone? Eh? For me, I want to live it now. Eh? And I've already made up my mind. So nothing that you or anyone can say will change it. Jane, you need to go to the Lord for brokenness. Because the path that you're taking is very slippery. I mean, are you cursing me? How can I curse you? How can I curse my own wife? I can't do that. So. You go for ministration. You receive an envelope. And fool as you are, you Gee. allow the money to fly from this house to that man's house so that he ah, will enjoy the fruits of your labor. Hey, babe. Watch your tank. You are going too far. You are going too far, and I don't like that. Be very careful. Don't tell me that. Don't talk to me like that. Look, if this thing so much as happens again, eh? There are three things. Either you go back for it, or you don't come back to this house again, or you start praying and fasting for the rest of your life. No, no. You hear me? You are so mean. 
Ah, when you find Jim Crowing, ye, I'm a big machine. Excuse me. Oh, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Jay, Jay. Please have mercy on my wife, Lord. Jay, Jay. Jay, where are you? Jay. This movie uh, too much. Yeah. Yeah. I don't show any godly things on this channel. Oh, but so something can still be learned from this. They are not profitable for our spiritual lives. There are things that happen in real life. It's normal. No, you've not finished everything that you need to do spiritually. <laughs> Miss it tomorrow. Hey, since you left eh? this house, more. Get your dad, get your dad. Yeah. Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon, Alex. You are welcome. Thank you. Hey, Alex. At least you'd have told us of your coming. Eh? I could have prepared something nice for you. Oh, Mom, you huh? don't have to bother. I'm mm. a big boy now. I mean, I know I, I don't want to bother you with uh, all these things. I know my way in and out of the house. Yeah, do you are Big boy, my foot. Who <laughs> <laughs> you need that huh? <laughs> Don't forget that you are still my baby. You don't know that between a mother and son, uh, there is no age. Alex, so how is your study in second year now? Oh, Dad, it, it's okay. It's okay. Although it's very tedious, but I'm determined to do my best. All right. Hey, my boy. Yep. You are not looking bad at all. No, I'm not. I'm not. Hey, indeed. You are looking classy and glorious. Yeah. University has indeed changed you. Wow. Huh. Yeah, look, what? Alex, you know what? Take your things to your room, okay? Okay, I'll be back. No, not so fast. You wait. I want to discuss something with your mom. When we are done, I'll call you. Okay. Hey, Jay. Jay. Are you wearing tinted lenses or you are blind? Our only son returned home with this ungodly dressing and you are praising him as a Christian. And then pastor's right for that matter. I've noticed your sudden transformation, but I never knew it has gotten to the point that carnality and worldliness are taking over you. Ah, can't think, I don't know. What can I do? What is wrong with what he's wearing? Eh? And why are you so judgmental? If you don't like it and someone else chooses to wear it, does it mean it's a sin? Besides, he's a youth. So, and, and this, this manner of clothing, this dressing, is the modern way. Please, just allow the boy to be. Ah, Masama. Jane, Jane, you are dying. Jane, you seem to surprise me. Jane, you are dying. You need to wake up. A pastor's wife. In support of this ungodly dressing? Ah, so what is the church going to be? What is going to be the future of this church? Ah, in fact, you need to go back to Calvary. You need to be baptized again. You need to be baptized again. Ah. Mr. Self-Righteous, excuse me. I need to be with my son. Woman I married. Oh, he's, she's not feeling well. Does she need a doctor? Jay! Jay, where are you? Come back here! 
Hello, Abigail. What is it? Why are you calling me at this time of the night? You should know that I'm in the house and my parents are around. Alice, I'm sorry for calling whilst you're at home. But there's fire on the mountain. Which fire? Which fire? You always want to exaggerate everything. Please, whatever it is, hold on. When I come to campus next week, we'll sort it out. Or better still, when we meet on Sunday, go in. We can discuss it. Alice, <laughs> please, this cannot wait till Sunday or next week. <laughs> if you know what is good for you, let's meet tomorrow. Why are you scaring me? Eh? Please, my parents are around. You know what? Let's do it. When we meet, we'll discuss it tomorrow, go in. Bye. Alice. <laughs> with you since we came back from the campus we have been quiet and moody my girl I'm your mom please if there is anything you can confide in me mom please don't worry I'm perfectly okay I'm just having some menstrual cramps and I believe that's the reason why I am restless. But I'm sure I'll be okay tomorrow. Okay. Then I'll go. Uh -huh. Before I go, a sister called me from the church about a dream she had. Mm. Mommy, please, what is it? Hmm. Abby. She saw someone whose appearance is like a beautiful angel. And you were moving with the angel. But later, the supposed angel dragged you into a dark or gloomy forest. And who did not return. Mommy, what could that be? My girl, I am also confused. When she told me, how can one's guardian angel take the person into darkness? But I believe the Lord revealed to the redeem. So please, once you are here, please, let's have time for prayers. Okay. I have prayed, but we can pray together. Please. Okay, please, mommy. Okay, my girl. The Lord be with you. Okay. I pray nothing evil will happen to you. Amen.
Come, 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 come. What is the meaning of this? Mommy, please, I'm feeling nauseous due to my period. Nauseous. But I'll be fine. Abigail. Abigail. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'll go to my room. Okay, please, mommy. Good night. I'll be fine. Okay. I myself, myself into. myself into. My mother, my mother warned, warned me against fornication, but, but I didn't, I didn't listen, listen to her. her. <laughs> what, do what do I do, I do now? My, my Christian, Christian life. life. What, what are people, people going, going to say? To say? My, my education, education and, future. and future. Please, Please forgive, forgive me, Lord. Lord. This, this is, is hard, hard for, for me. me. What, what do, do I, I do? do? Yeah, please. I have all the files except the children's ministry report and the transport receipts. Can you please leave them behind? Oh, okay. I'll pass by God willing tomorrow for them. Yes. Hope that will be fine with you. Oh, okay. God bless you. All right. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Alice. How are you? I'm fine, my good news. And where are you going this morning dressed like this? Um, I mistakenly brought my roommate's key home. So he has called me. I want to go and meet with him and hand over the keys to him. Oh, okay. That is quite unfortunate. But Alex, I want to have a word with you. Please come and sit down. Alice, I observed you the last time you came on vacation. And since you came from school yesterday, I've seen that you are waxing very good. You no longer read your Bible and involve yourself in any activities of God. Your prayerlessness is increasing day by day to the extent that you don't even join us in morning devotion. You are always seen on phone, speaking, chatting, and visiting one social media platform to the other. Alex, 
Your way of dressing has even changed. Look at you. Look at this skinny jeans. Look at this kind of dress. As gentle as you are. Look, you are not even wearing socks. Alex, remember the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 9. Rejoice, O young man, in the days of your youth. Let your heart cheer thee in the days of your youth. And walk in the ways of your heart and the sight of your eyes. But Alex, remember, all these things, including this kind of dressing you are, you have put up, God will bring to judgment. My son, make your ways right with God. Sins are not like it seems to be. Alex, what an elderly man sees while sitting down. A young man cannot even see half of it while standing. You are a Christian, Alex. A true child of Jesus Christ. And for that matter, you have to live your life as such. Alex, let people know that you are a Christian, both in private and public. Please, Alex, be careful the way you are leading your life. It wouldn't help you at all. Look at what you are dressing. Look at how the way you have dressed. Does it befit a Christian? Daddy, why do you always complain about my dressing? Don't I have the right to wear what I want to wear in this life, life and in this house? You're making this home unbearable for me. Alex, remember, the word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient for me. Alex, and again, remember, all things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Alex, ask yourself, will Jesus wear what you are wearing? Daddy, please, you are being so hard on me. Please, let me be. Please, my friend must have been waiting for me for a while now. Please, I must go. Excuse me. Hey, Alex, now listen. I do not know what you are actually going to do out there. But remember, whatever a man sows, so shall he reap. Alex, be careful, oh! I said earlier, I'm just going to hand over the keys to my roommate. That is what you told me. But I don't believe that. I'm sorry, please excuse me. Alex, are you walking out on me? Hey! Alex, come back here! Alex! Yeah, hello. Abby, why are you? I'm already here. Where are you now? I'm also here, but I cannot find you. I have raised my hand be beside the tree. Ah, okay, I've, I've seen you. I'm coming. Yes, Abigail, what is it? See the rain has been beating me when I was coming. And why will you call me to come and meet when you know it's not safe? Really? Yeah. Just shut up and listen to the reason why I called. Yes, yeah, so why did you call? Alex, I'm sick. Ah, you are sick? If you are sick, go to the hospital. Eh? I'm a doctor herbalist. What kind of prank is that? Eh, I'm pregnant. Are you are you kidding me? 
Alice. I'm damn serious. I found out three days ago. But how did it happen with you? <laughs> what kind of a stupid question are you asking me? Eh? <laughs> Alice. <laughs> when I was pleading with you, <laughs> not to do it because I was afraid. <laughs> you didn't listen to me. <laughs> now see what you have done to me. See. <laughs> I'm finished. God have mercy upon me. So, so, what, what, what are we going to do about it? What, did I hear you well? Are you asking me what I am going to do about it? Okay. You should be the one thinking about what you are going to do about it and not me. Like, am I the one who is pregnant? Stop that nonsense! Ah. Oh, go, go more. Careful. Hey, it seems you haven't woken up from your sleep yet. I'm still sleeping. Hey, if I am the one pregnant, then be ready to face the consequences. You need to find something better to tell me. Oh. Let's see Abigail. Please. Please. I am someone's child. I am not, see, I'm not ready to father a baby at this point. I'm not ready to also terminate my education for this. Besides, we're in the same church. I cannot stand the shame. Oh. Oh, God. The same applies to me. I'm also a student. <laughs> do you know how my mom suffers to pay my fees? And you expect me to disappoint her with this pregnancy? Ah. <laughs> and I'm not ready to be a mother now. <laughs> I'm also not ready. <laughs> See, I'll be going, I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's like I, I see the sky should just fall over me. Alex, I also don't know what to do. If you figure out a solution, you can call me. Right now, I'm leaving. See you later. Bye. <laughs> what is going on here? Is this. She's serious about what she's saying, eh? Or oh, is this some kind of a prank? Just to get some coins from me. At this time, pregnancy. Alex. Alex, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Ah. Abigail. Abby. Abigail. Mommy. Abby. What is going on, Abby? It's just 7 30 and you are far asleep. Abigail. I came to your room earlier, but you were not here. Where did you go? Mommy, I went out to meet a friend. Okay. How are you feeling today? Please, I'm fine. Are you sure? What is all of this? Could this girl be poor? Oh no. That is, that is impossible. God forbid. Abigail. God. Have mercy. Me. 
Me? Please, I'm feeling weak. Please, I need to take some rest. Abby. Abby girl. This thing is getting out of hand. This is beyond menstrual symptoms. Hey. Get up. Let me check something. Abby. Get up. Come, come, come. Hey! Mommy, I already told you I am fine. Young lady, you are not fine. Oh. I hope... Hmm. It's not what I am thinking, oh, Abigail. Mommy, what are you thinking? Hmm. God. Don't worry. Tomorrow you we'll go to the hospital. There you we'll go. You will see what's going on. Young lady. Pray. Pray to your God. Hey. God have mercy. Pray to your God that it will not be what I am thinking. Hmm. Mommy, why are you exaggerating? Mm. I've already told you I am fine. Why do I need to go and see the doctor? I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Young lady, you will leave to see tomorrow. Abigail. Abigail. Hmm. God. Okay, I'm going to my room. God, what have I gotten myself into? Hey, Abigail. Hi. <laughs> what has this woman seen? Why? She checked my eyes. And she even wants us to go to the hospital. Hey. Oh. No. I can't allow this. Is she suspecting me? I need to act fast though. If not, hey, there will be trouble. What do I do? Alice, 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 I need to call you. Oh. Pick that call. Mommy, it's just my friend. He wanted me to take some photos of some notes that we did back in school. When I'm done with what I'm doing, I'll call him back. Okay. That's alright. I'll be back. 
Alkyman. Hey, I have to go and see you. No, it's gonna happen. my calls. So I thought coming here was the best option. Why are you best you my life? Why don't you give me time to think about it? Now my mom is in the house. There's no need to think about it. Why are you not pregnant anymore? Hey you two! What are you doing here? Are you dumb? I asked what is going on in my house? Abby, what is going on? Mommy, please ask Alex. Alex, what is going on? I don't know. I don't know. Mommy. It's nothing serious. It's nothing serious. Don't give me that. <laughs> if it were nothing serious, why is Abby girl crying? Mommy, I said just trust me. It is nothing serious. It's just a small misunderstanding between Abigail and Abigail. Let's, let's stop. Stop right there. Where do you think you are going? You are not going anywhere. Sit down. Sit. <laughs> Abby. What is going on? <laughs> Mommy. It's, I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry for what? <laughs> hey, Abby. Stop crying and talk to me. Or should I call your mother here? <laughs> no. No, please, Mommy, I'll talk. <laughs> talk. <laughs> I I missed it. I I missed my period. Ah, I still don't understand. Well, if you've missed your period, do I sell period here? Well, look for it. Why do you have to come here and cry? Huh? Mommy. Please. I, 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 <laughs> I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Abby, you? You? What? How? So upon all the teachings and the counseling that we've been giving you, how did you get yourself into this? Happy. You have brought shame, not only on yourself, but also on your parents. Wait, 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 wait. Come to think of it, why are you here exactly? Don't tell me that somebody in this house is responsible for your pregnancy. <laughs> Who? Alex? Hey, <laughs> God, oh, help me! Alex! Alex! You will kill me! Oh. Hey! Alex, tell me that this is not true! Are you responsible for this pregnancy? <laughs> Mommy wants to tell me. That's not my foot. That's not my foot at all. Hey! Oh, no. Alex is here. My enemies are watching me, Alex. Why? Why, Alex? Why? You have brought shame onto this family. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Yet you went ahead to do it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> anyway, so apart from the three of us, who else knows about this? Please, no one else. Better. Abby, just as you said, telling your mother will do you more harm than good. Hmm? Besides, the two of you are still youth. You have your whole future ahead of you, very bright future. So if you keep this pregnancy, it will merely destroy your life. And that bright future that you have ahead of you. So we need to find a lasting solution now to this problem. Other than that, hmm, this will bring shame to the church with people cooking all manner of headlines like pastor's son impregnates women ministry leader's daughter. <laughs> hey. <laughs> It will also be a stumbling block and offensive to weaker souls. Hey, it can also lead to my husband's emotion. So the best plan for now is to terminate the pregnancy. <laughs> Mommy, no, mommy. Don't let the pregnancy. Mommy, please. I'm afraid to die. But who said you are going to die? Do not be afraid. For the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. Just be bold. And everything will be alright. Mommy, are you sure I'm not going to die? Abby. Please, make sure that you do not tell anybody about this, especially your mother. <laughs> <laughs> 